Hey, so how's it going? It's me. As you can tell, I'm at work. So that's so uh, how we do. And, uh, well, I want to show you something. So all of the spider nerf, I, was, I myself was getting really frustrated yesterday. And then uh, a lovely cluster clan mate of ours, Nubkex, posted a video. And uh, he said, try this team. And it works. I've had it fail twice out of, like, oh, I want to say 50 runs. And that's because... Um, I, I just think, uh, some of the debuffs are getting resisted. So let me check my Lydia here to make sure she has enough accuracy for this. Mm, no, she needs like 30 more accuracy. So that is a problem. Let's see, where can we, where can we pump up some accuracy on her? So accuracy there, accuracy there. Let's see if we can't find speed accuracy on a helmet for, actually, let's do speed accuracy on a weapon. I don't even know if I need the speed anymore on her because I'm not using her for fire knife, but. Yeah, that would actually still be fine. Upgrade this, enchant it. See, there we go. Give it four speed, and I think we'll be okay. Yeah, mm, yeah, and we can make this up in other places. There, now we shouldn't have any problem being resisted. Um, should work, should work just fine. Let's throw some four speed on this. It's a one -er. That's a four. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm out of speed gloves. I used them during our CBC. Um, let's see if we have any speed accuracy. I haven't upgraded this Lydia since I got her. She's been in the same gear forever. So, tis what it is. Yeah, I don't think we're hitting her, son. I think that would be just appropriate, though. So let's just kind of show you how this works. We'll look at the team setup here. I have this cold heart in here for just poops and giggles. She's in there just to level up because of the Clover event. You're going to need 228 or faster for your Royal Guard and your Ethos. Um, thankfully, my Ethos is 228. Royal Guard prioritizes takedown Ethos. He'll prioritize his triple hitter outburst. Lydia prioritizes Siren's Whale. Arbiter prioritizes Mentor of Heroes. That's it. Okay. And if you didn't check all the speeds, let's go over it again. 229, 228, 278. And then we have 381 for your Arbiter. But your Arbiter should be over 300 speed, so that's all that really matters. So let's hit start and go. Um, let's just pray that <laughs> that the, we don't get a fail. Like a random one, but I think we should now be fine. So here comes Lydia. Gives everybody decreased defense and weaken. Boom, big hit, and then triple hitter, and then he's gone. And that, folks, is an 11 second run. Eleven seconds, right? Plus, boom, we get a little bit of points for leveling up the champion. You know, always if you're running a four team and you have a fifth spot and you can fit in a food champion, you might as well. It ain't hurting your time and you're just utilizing uh, your resources better. Now, here's another new team I've been hearing about kind of punching around. Let me take a look here. Since this is all being recorded, I have all these teams. So, yeah, we'll delete that. So let's actually make another new team, okay? Oh, how did this go? Let's see. We have... This one's actually 
fun. We have Sissia. What speed is she at? 265. I don't think my Ignatius is the right speed for her. 235. So, let me check on my walking tomb during. 256. Yeah, so we're going to use Drang. We'll take out him. Drang, I'll watch it there. And then Arbiter, of course. Where is my Arbiter? Even with glasses. There she is. And then Ethos. All of this is really on Ethos. The You can do Lua. You can do it. There's a couple triple hitter AOE nukers. Um, Zargala. It's that one works. Um, so let's do this, and I'll probably just build all of them out and then make a video on each of them, okay? Because um, I do have them all. So boom, boom, boom. I do need to make Sissia slower though, and Ethos is up here. Boom, with crushing rend. Probably should switch him over to a different one. Okay, Arbiter prioritize. Ethos prioritizes his triple hitter outburst. Walking Tomb, he will prioritize his irresistible. Exalted Pyre. And then Sissia, she will prioritize Flame Eruption because we're going to lower her speeds. So she goes right after Walking Tomb. Okay, save. We'll use this team just to lock him in. Boom, let's go here. We can't make Drang any faster. He he is built specifically to do a job. Um, but Sissia, her job is, you know, pretty flexible, so we can kind of get away with it. Where are you, Sissia? There you are. Okay, let's see. We don't need... And she has way more than enough accuracy. Of course, that's got speed on it. That's got speed on it. She lose eight speed. I wonder if we just put her in a piece that doesn't matter. She lose nine speed. How about that? Fourteen speed. Yeah, that seems good. We'll just swap out. Okay, more than enough accuracy. She is at 251. So she's going to be right after walking Tomb Drang. Just to clarify that, let's go down. We'll look. Oops. 251, 256. Very good. Okay. Okay. I might need to do that a second. Just to get ahead of them. All right, let's try it, folks. Let's see. So he's going to come in. He says, everybody's on fire. She does that. Huh. Well, 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 well. We're not doing enough damage. So do we need a reset champion for this? I would think not. Yeah. All right. Well, seems this team doesn't work. Well, seeing as that didn't work, my apologies. I ended up cutting that short. I wasn't trying to stop the recording. I was trying to stop the run. But, you know, we still have this method. And it works pretty well. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder why. I wonder why it doesn't work the other one. Somebody said that you have to use Ignatius, but I, I still don't get it. I'll have to find evidence of it and look at the stats, and then I can reproduce it, and I'll make another video. Uh, Plarium did say they are going to patch this, though. Um, they fixed all double hitters, but they didn't realize triple hitters will come in and do the same job. So just be prepared for that, that this also is a limited time thing. I mean, personally, in my opinion, if you have to use a legendary like Ethos to get this done... 
in a void epic like Lua or an epic like Zarkala to actually try and accomplish this. I think, you know, I think maybe, just maybe, it just needs to be left alone. I don't know. Um, all it does is help the player base. It doesn't really hurt Plarium. But that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch everybody in the next one. Mwah. Love you and God bless.